Hey guys, this is Tom from Numbers Game Lifestyle, and today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, and we're going to be talking about women's fashion trends. I don't know about you, but I've noticed a drastic change over the years, and it may be crept up on you, but I'm really starting to notice it now, and it's, it's unavoidable. Okay, if you look in today's population of women, you go outside to a place where there's lots of women buzzing around, you know, I don't care if it's like at a busy transit station or at the mall or, you know, downtown street with lots of people around, you will notice that women dress a lot like men at this day and age. I'll show a bunch of slides that confirm this. You know, you go looking out for attractive women, and they are very, and I mean very, hard to come by. Because they all kind of dress, well, most of them, dress like men. They wear the same clothes that, you know, I did. You know, they wear the same pants that I did in the 90s. Where it's like super baggy. They look like men's jeans. And so it's like... Yeah, a little off-putting, and when you can, when you think back, you take your time machine back maybe 10 years, 2015, yeah, probably around that time, no woman dressed like that. They're all in like skin-tight clothing, all very feminine, all of them wanting to look attractive, right? Now, it seems like women are trying to make themselves look as least sexual as possible, as least you know attractive as possible you know it's just like a, a, a communist concentration camp where everybody's just a drone and no one looks better than the other they all look the same they all look the same unattractive <laughs> right and that's why you can go outside and you know you can see a hundred women and you're lucky to see an attractive one because they're all dressed like, you know, automatons, like men. And that wasn't the case just, you know, maybe less than 10 years ago. You would go outside and you would see plenty, you know, 100 women. You're guaranteed to see some very attractive women somewhere in there. Now, all you see is baggy jeans, like baggy jackets, big ass jacket it's basically like men like how men dressed in the 90s that's how they dress now but you know what's actually funny about this there is a last bastion of femininity in this day and age even in 2024 there are feminine women out there that dress feminine that dress you know attractive you know that it catches people's eyes they want to show off their bodies they want to show off um how attractive they are and guess where that is? It's at the gym. <laughs> the gym is the last place you will find women that dress attractive, that dress, you know, like they're like they want to show something off. These women that have worked super hard in, you know, sculpting their bodies into absolute works of art, do not want to cover it up in baggy ass clothes and look like men. You know, these women still want to be attractive to men and, you know, looked up to by other women. So this is why the gym, the last bastion for, you know, women's sexuality, women's empowerment. That's really women's empowerment is their attractiveness. But nowadays they're trying to downplay that. Like, oh no, like attractive women aren't powerful. Attractive women are like looked down upon it. It's like they're shaming people for looking attractive dressing attractive They want everyone to look like drones and all the same and uh, Of course women that have you know put in the work to make their booties look amazing to make their legs look popping to make their abs show to make their t waists tight they are not going to go along with the program of like, oh yeah, like I'm going to wear men's clothing to hide all the work that I put in. 
no, these women want to impress. These women, you know, want to look good. And that's such a rare thing in this day and age. And you have to ask yourself, how did it get to this point? How did we go from a society where like all the women used to dress pretty, you know, alluring to men, very attractive to men and completely different than what men wore. You know, they're in tights all the time. They're in skirts. They're in like, you know, crop tops and everything like that completely different than what men wear and now they've relegated themselves to dressing like men and if you go to a clothing store a women's clothing store pretty much all the pants are going to be like men's pants like super wide super big make sure you don't show off your bum like oh, can't have that show off your legs no can't have that <laughs> and they've convinced women that it's cool to dress like this they've convinced women that like yes uh, dressing like men is super cool. If you do that, you're in, you're the, you're the trendy girl. So as soon as a girl wears some, like, you know, the baggy clothes, all of her friends are like, oh yeah, you go girl. You look great in that pant. You look great in those jeans. Even though they know damn well that, uh, that's not the case, but they all blow smoke under each other's ass. So it, oh, you're super trendy girl. You go, you wear that outfit. You wear those jeans. <laughs> And meanwhile, like every guy's just like passing them by, not giving them a second look. And that's supposed to be women's empowerment now. It, it just boggles the mind. Why is this happening? How did we get from, you know, women looking like women to women dressing like men? And that's the cool thing to do. And <laughs> prepare to put on your tinfoil hat. But I'm pretty sure all of us know now that the elites, you know, people in control of the world actually don't want you to produce they don't want men and women coming together forming relationships and re reproducing they don't want that they've worked very hard and they're doing a very good job of keeping men and women separate which is why you know birth rates are going down drastically the economy's forced us to you know both parents have to work now to support a family and they do everything in their power to convince women that they don't need men. You know, men aren't important. You don't need them. You know, you focus on your career. You be a good little drone and you work your nine to five and you climb that corporate ladder. But, and if you want to have kids, you can, you can send out a last ditch effort when you turn like 35 or 40, then you can really like maybe hopefully shoot a buzzer beater and you, you get a kid before you're you know infertile. That's what they've convinced women today that, and it's working. <laughs> less women are having kids. Uh, there's less people being born and it's working out great. And this is going exactly in line with what they're doing with men and women, making them less attractive to each other, putting them, pitting them against each other so they don't get together and have kids. I mean, they did the same thing with men Back in the day, they had all these celebrity men wearing skirts and all these like, you know, fashion shows with men in skirts and dresses, but it never caught on because men, if you wore a skirt around one of your buddies, he'd be like, dude, take that off, put some pants on, put some shorts on, whatever, but we're not hanging out until you do. That's the way it would work. It wouldn't be like, oh man, boy, you look so great in that skirt. You rock that skirt, man. Awesome job. And that's the difference between men and women. Men do not go along with the crowd. They, they don't follow celebrities. They're like, oh, the celebrity man wearing a dress. It means I can too. No, the minute he wears a dress with, around his buddies, they're going to give him shit. And he's going to be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Back to wearing pants for me. And women are the exact opposite. They just keep on blowing smoke up each other's ass. And that's why you have women in the state that they are now. Not looking feminine. Not looking sexual. You know, that's where their power is. But no, like, they're looked down upon for that. And this is why, like, the elites have, you know, tried to make women, you know, wanting to have kids as, like, you know, stay-at-home mom. Some women want to be mothers and be like, oh, that's so beneath you. You should really, like, climb the corporate ladder. Be independent. You don't need a man. All this nonsense to convince them that, you know, like, you don't need kids. You shouldn't want kids. And then as soon as that buzzer time comes, they hit 35 and they're like, oh, crap, my time's running out. Like, I got to get this kid in. Like, 
It's way too late. It's too late for them to even have kids. So yes, it's very controlled. <laughs> They're doing a great job at making sure that you and I don't produce, reproduce and you and I are separate from females. And you can see this play out in the fashion trends that we see today. And what are my predictions? What are my predictions for the future? Uh, the way things are going. And here's what I expect. I expect in the coming years, it's just going to get worse. Women are going to dress even more masculine. They're going to be, you know, getting haircuts that are more masculine, less feminine. And it's going to continue to get worse. <laughs> That's the trajectory that we've been going on for a while now. You know, for maybe like at least maybe seven years or so, you know, five or six years. Yeah, it's been just going downhill. Beauty has been going downhill. Like no one's looking good anymore. And it, it's it's there for a reason. To keep men and women separate. And so yes, if guys, if you're out there looking for attractive women, you kind of have to go where the attractive women go. And still have, they haven't bought into the whole like, not being beautiful, be average, be sexually ambiguous the women that have rejected that concept hang out at the gym they're they're working themselves into something that's feminine and beautiful and they're the, the one of the, the few ones that do that and they dress to reveal that they dress to show that off and that's very rare in this day and age Anyways, guys, what are your opinions on this? Do you notice this where you are, where you live? The women dressing more and more masculine and less and less attractive. I see it wherever I go. It's everywhere I look. Anyways, guys, that's the video. There's coaching links down below if you're interested in finding the women that are actually attractive in this day and age. Dating them, having relationships with them. And there's coaching links down below if you're interested. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching.